Last month, for the first time since 1972, NASA released Blue Marble, a single snapshot of the Earth taken from outer space. So much has changed in the decades between that first picture. Borders have shifted. Generations have come and gone. Global population has nearly doubled. It hasn't changed. Our, our planet still looks Two thousand two Blue Marble two point NASA's Rob Simmons. And it had wide appeal too. It ended up as the default background. I didn't even know until I turned it on. Job is it's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is. A composite data sets from several different inflated in pictures. The to us the really cool thing was the data. Up until that point, there was no realistic color anywhere. So the land layer here comes from the moderate resolution imaging spectra radium. The tricky part here was the weather. We actually had to take we stashed the clouds for later, went onto the ocean. An instrument that measures phytoplankton in the sea. Where it was low, low mostly. And then where it's a little bit higher, it was green. Then add the clouds back in. There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. Some of those are pink. It is Photoshop, but it's it has to be. Then there was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. At or see through, so I just there's artists creating what I imagine it to be. Fortunately, I've never, but I've looked at these images over again, trying to sort of get the essence of it. It is Photoshop, but it's it's has to be. It is Photoshop, but it's it's has to be. 